Hey guys, Zethrion here from Langrisser C. Happy Sunday everybody. Uh, we have the opportunity to fight the Nightmare Dark Dragon for the first time without the Secret Realm Blessing. Uh, I've heard f uh, again from people who have done this in the preceding 12 hours after the daily reset that it is fairly simple. Uh, not as difficult as Thunder and Ice, which were a bit tricky. It's probably on the same level as Fire, which we YOLO'd through. So, um, yeah. We'll see whether it those uh, bear out. I'm going to look at the enemy composition. So this is exactly the same as 60, the 65 map, which means that our tactics can be the same. It's just that they got a bit of a stat upgrade. Uh, nothing, nothing too serious. Nothing that we haven't tanked before in Timeless Trial. So we'll go in with our usual team composition. Lead in here. Uh, these four are not here. We will have Liana, Tiaris, Leon, 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 where you at? And we will have Ultimola. So uh, again, the Dark Dragon has a vulnerability against flying and cavalry units, which is why Leon and Ultimola are there as our main DPS. Ultimola, you can see, is not very well built up. He's only has an attack of 771. Uh, whereas Leon has 900, more than 900. Uh, I haven't invested very much in my Ultimola. He's also running more of a bruiser build with Throne, Guardian, etc. So, um, yeah, don't expect very many flashy things from him. Okay, so we are gonna get started once I check everybody's skills. Aha! So we will be bringing Miracle instead of that thing. Okay, so let's go. Danger zone on, move up, faction buff, let in. Begin very sim uh, very standard. I think you've seen this before many times. Ultimula moves up and faction buffs. No, sorry. Liana moves up here. And Sages hit him, even though we don't really need it. Tiaris moves up. Here I guess. Mm, should I have attack blessing him? I can do it next turn, I suppose. Uh, we're gonna faction buff for Leon. I suppose it would have been a bit more efficient. Oh, come on, Ultimula. It would have been a bit more efficient to have um, uh, attack blessing Leon, but you know, I'm forgetful. Oops. <laughs> so we're gonna move up one square and trigger that Undead Knight. And then the archer will move down subsequently. Okay, we survived the AoE from... Uh, miracle or attack blessing. What stats do you have? Very nasty ones. Attack blessing would be more conducive to Leon's overall survival. Um, we're gonna hit it with... Attack Blessing and... Uh, something's wrong with my Leon's equipment. He only has 1200 attack, that's very strange. 1300. Oh, okay, there's some aura or something. Right. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So over here. Wait, no, here. Here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Yep, total. Yep, we are going to again Leon, as we usually do. I guess Miracle have to wait for next turn because I was a bonehead and didn't do it this turn. Okay, the Vampire Bat is almost dead. Blood Suck, yep. A Blood Suck of 561 isn't going to help it live against Ultimala. Sorry, against Ledin. So, I'm just going to stay put. And we will have letting guard everything that comes. Mm, this is where Miracle will have been helpful in increasing the amount of damage dealt. Okay, the arch. Ledin hits the gargoyle again. Okay, whatever. We heal up with the mad virus, very nice. Rain pressure, that's fine. Ledin is going to crush the Vampire Bat. 
Very good. Three turns out of ten out of fifteen. Hmm, a bit tighter than I would have liked. Miracle for everybody. I'm gonna move Ultimate up and attack the Gargoyle. Good, he finish it up. Finishes it off. Uh, I might need to stand here. Or else Tiaris will be meat. Unless I can bait it with Liana. Let's see how stupid this thing really is. Oh, crud. I can't kill it anyway, so... That's annoying. We're gonna have to wait for Ledin's counter-attack to crush uh, the Undead Knight. Liana's gonna move up and just heal up. Leon? And then it's gonna hit us. And the thing I don't like most about this flame archer is that it's gonna... Oh, it just hits us instead. Fantastic. Very happy about that. Okay, we're wasting a lot of time with the flame archer. Maybe I should move Ledin up aggressively on the first turn to do it. To kill the... to lure the skeleton back. Oh well, decisions, decisions. Hopefully we have enough uh, DPS. We'll see. Ah, <laughs> with that lucky gale, we definitely do. Good. So... Uh, two, three. Darn it. Do I have again? No, I don't. Okay. So we're just going to move out of Leon first. Unfortunately... I can't again him, uh, and he's out of range even of chivalry, so we're gonna waste another turn. Not optimal, but what can you do when you're forgetful and idiotic like me? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Wait, so we start our attack on turn 5. Okay, so we have 5 turns to beat this Dark Dragon to pop. Okay, 38,000 damage, that's pretty good. Wait, you give me a buff? Are you kidding? Seriously? You're giving me more help? Okay, sure, <laughs> I don't mind. Oh, interesting, let me see. Mad Virus. Attacks. Rage State. After battle puts enemy into the rage state. Increases damage taken, increases damage dealt, increases healing received. Okay, so it, it basically accelerates uh, everything. Uh, what I mean by accelerates everything is that uh, if you're gonna hit, you now hit harder. If you're gonna get healed, you now get healed harder. I suppose that's one way to put it. Uh, and if you're gonna do damage, you can do even more damage. So this is our final formation for the rest of this battle. We are going to hit the Dark Dragon. Rage Dragon, stay put. And just to finish things off, we are going to have Ultimate Affection buff. Next turn, he will be in range to attack the Dark Dragon. And he has almost his full stacks of his uh, talent, which is good. Okay, we heal up lead in, no problems. Let's hit this stupid thing again. Okay, I don't think we will have an issue with the damage. Okay. It looks like the damage actually keeps accelerating. Like every time you hit uh, the dragon you get a new buff. Let's see. Yeah, you you do. One buff. 2 buffs, 3 buffs, 4 buffs, 5 buffs, yeah. And what's useful about standing outside is that uh, Ledin doesn't get increased damage because he has never hit the dragon, so he should be able to tank for Leon just fine. You just gotta worry about Ultimula, if anything. Okay, yes, Tiaris has nothing useful to do, so she just stays put. Darkness descending, of course. So if we need to, we can always just ret uh, run Ultimola back for healing. 
Okay, so increases damage dealt for him, he also increases damage dealt for everybody. Uh, is gonna stay put, Leanna is gonna pair up. Okay, no point in attacking Optimum Love when he's at half health. Stay put. Leanna is gonna tank for Leon. Tanks it just fine. Oh wait, does Leanna get the debuff? Let me just check. Oh, he does. Darn. Oh well. 179, okay. Uh, tell you what, that's a miracle. Because that is party wide instead of just affecting Leon. And we will attack blessing him next turn. Uh, when is Ultimus faction buff coming up next turn? When is your again? Ah, your again is available now. Let's do it. Okay. We're gonna waste one miracle buff, but whatever. First hit. Second hit with again. Oops, let's assault. My goodness. Very nice damage indeed. And we are going to hit this bugger dragon with Ultimula. It looks like it will be going down next turn before it has a chance to enrage, I think. If I count correctly, we should be somewhere at 8 or 9. Hopefully. Okay, he hits Ultimula, which is nice, and he gets some retaliation damage in. Very nice. And he heals up anyway. So, you are at 35,000 health, it is turn 9, you have not had a chance to enrage, and you will never get a chance to enrage. We're gonna attack Blessing Leon, play safe, faction buff for Leon. If he gales, I'm gonna laugh. Oh my god, he gales. <laughs> Alright, if you insist, Dark Dragon Sir, I shall kill you. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what we get for our drops for our first level 70 Dark Dragon clear. That was quite fun actually. So... Let's see, let's see. Something good or just nothing? It looks like nothing is what we'll be getting for our first level 70 dragon, uh, Dark Dragon clear. So anyway, uh, the same strategies that apply to level 65 definitely apply to the Nightmare version of the Dark Dragon. Uh, and uh, if you have no problems clearing 65, I don't see why you should have issues clearing Nightmare. You just have to be able to tank the hits at the start, so your lead in or your tank has to be su sufficiently upgraded. But in terms of damage, uh, because that dragon does give you a buff that increases your damage dealt, uh, damage shouldn't be a problem uh, if your characters are sufficiently leveled to tackle 65. Oh, okay. So um, that's it for the Dark Dragon 70 video. Hope you guys found this helpful. As always, this is Zethrion signing off.